Warning. Catastrophic failure imminent. Commencing unscheduled termination of cryogenic chamber operation. <laughs> Greetings, Rachel Manners. Please exit the cryo chamber and proceed immediately to the main deck. Hello, computer. Thank you for arriving so quickly, Rachel. I know you may be a little disoriented, but I need your help. What's going on? And where is everybody? The probe has been hit by a meteor storm. Several core systems have malfunctioned, and the probe is in danger of catastrophic failure. You must repair these systems immediately. This is getting better every second. You know that I'm an astrobiologist, and not a systems engineer, right? The vast majority of repair functions are automated. Unfortunately, the automatic maintenance of the life support sector is broken beyond repair. You need to reduce hazardous conditions or you won't be able to survive. Let me switch to a situation overview. Damn, this looks pretty serious. I wouldn't wake you up if it wasn't. So what do you need me to do? Just click on any red area on the map and I will tell you more. There are three conditions we need to eliminate. Electricity, fire, and poisonous gas fumes. So I can use sprinklers to put out the fire, ventilators to get rid of the gas, and circuit breakers to turn off the electricity, right? Exactly. Only don't use water until the electricity is fixed. And don't use ventilators on the flames, or the fire will spread uncontrollably. I'm on it. Please brief me on my situation while I'm fixing this mess. You're currently on board an interstellar probe, JXZN12586. As of now, we're orbiting an unknown planet in the solar system of NGC 9725. Everyone else is down on the planet. However, my contact with the crew was severed, so I cannot reach them anymore. Why was I left behind? You have been kept in the cryo chamber. What? I'm all alone on this probe, and all you can tell me is that we're in orbit and the crew left me here. My memory blocks have been damaged, Rachel. I'm not able to tell you much more. Oh joy, I'm stuck somewhere in space with an amnesiac computer. Do you have any kind of plan, computer? When you finish these repairs, I need you to send Mobot down for a crew extraction. They have some major explaining to do.
There you go, I think it's fixed. Great job, Rachel. I can now switch us back to a default interface. I finished the automated repairs as well. So now you want me to go down there, right? No, that could be too hazardous, because we still do not know what happened to the crew. We will use Mobot. He is perfect for operations in practically any environment you can think of. You are the last crew member on this probe, and we can't risk anything happening to you. Switch on the planet view and commence the landing procedure. seeing the surface of a distant planet up close. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. This planet is Xenophone. I'll try to obtain some data about it from my backup database. Hopefully that one wasn't erased. Pardon my interruption, but my sensory reading suggests that this planet is polluted by an incredible amount of radiation. This is strange. This planet was thought to be one of the primary targets for our main mission. If this was our primary target, does that mean the whole mission was senseless? Could you estimate the cause? According to my preliminary tests, everything alive on this planet would have been wiped out approximately 500 years ago by a huge explosion. This explosion seemed to be hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than the most powerful nuclear bomb on Earth at the time of our departure. The planet obviously never recovered from this unnatural catastrophe. 
Julia, what's this thing down there on the map? It looks like an artificial structure. I think it's well worth exploring. I'm activating Mobot's exploration mode. The station looks lifeless and deserted. Where has everybody gone? I'm uploading a map blueprint to ease your orientation. Judging by the surroundings, it doesn't seem the crew ever needed them. This ladder doesn't look very sturdy. The station was never meant to last that long, Rachel. Commentary. These storage units contain equipment used for planetary exploration. The power is off. As far as I was briefed, the stations were powered by solar panels. We should try searching for them outside. Good idea, Rachel. We won't be able to enter the station without power anyway. Those antennas provided a communication data channel between the station and the probe. Obviously they never had time to deploy the site properly. What the hell happened here? Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can you be more specific? I think they were once solar panels. Observation. This reflector has fallen down. Oh really? What a clever machine you are, my bot. Thank you. This catwalk was originally meant to create a controlled passage without any risk of disturbing the environment. Another thing which the crew never bothered to use properly. This is so strange. All these constellations, they look so... foreign. Let me inform you that you won't find any of those constellations on Earth. However, you might know that very bright star. We call it Shola, and back home you would find it as the Lambda star in the Scorpius constellation. From this vista, none of those constellations make sense. The entire concept of constellations is flawed. They're just random stars glued together by human imagination. This looks like a part of the solar panel's device. Observation. They are power sockets to provide electricity to external devices. Hmm. And maybe it's for getting some electricity inside. Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can you be more specific? I think they were once solar panels. Observation. It bears an inscription of some sort. Read it for us, please. Apology. The writings have faded away a long time ago. It looks almost like a tombstone. And it might well be, Rachel. What happened to this shuttle? Shouldn't it be safely perched on top of the station? Might I suggest possible seismic activity? Objection. The rest of the landscape speaks against this possibility. Hmm. Well, guess it's for us to find... What a boring and uneventful world. 
To think how far we've travelled only to see these rocks. Someone must have seriously screwed this up. Pardon my interruption, but would you like me to explore anything in particular? Not really, no. I think I've seen enough. This served to transport crew members in and out of the station. Commentary. I don't need it myself. Commentary. These storage units contain equipment used for planetary exploration. I would estimate that they must have... This doesn't look good. Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can you be more sp I think... I think I've uncovered all of the solar panels. They look br- The panels are- Let me get them back to- We were supposed to use it to bring- I wonder what the crew- It was never- I don't think I need decontamination right now. I will undergo this procedure when I return to the probe. During the decon... Contaminated liquids are drained through this out... This metal plate... Observation... Observation. This piece of... I can see darks... Obtains... Commentary. There is... Can you get it? Bingo! It's our... This screen... There's nothing... This... What? I wonder how much yam... Hello? Is anybody home? Commentary. The station status module is malfunctioning. I was unable to obtain any reasonable data. Observation. For some reason, the crew did not keep the station tidy. This violates protocol 17 forward slash 970. 